Hi guys, Tim here from ECU Testing. Today I just want to share this quick tip about yet another Fiat 500 common fault. If you're experiencing complete non-start when the engine is cold and a stored fault code of P0115, engine coolant temperature circuit malfunction, then I'm going to show you a really common cause and the method to get it going again. Let's get started. So Fiat 500 poor or complete non-start from cold is an incredibly common issue. Actually, the root cause is so common that it affects other Fiat's from similar build years, including the Panda, Punto and Grande Punto. And it's not even caused by this. Faced with non-start from cold and a logged fault code P0115 engine coolant temperature circuit malfunction, it's quite easy to jump to the conclusion that the engine ECU is faulty. However, this fault has been found to be caused by a faulty coolant temperature or intake air temperature sensor, or a combination of both. One thing to remember, the intake air temperature sensor is an integral part of the MAP sensor on these vehicles fitted with the 1.2 eight valve engine. The engine ECU uses combined data from both sensors to establish if the vehicle is in cold start conditions. However, because of this, the engine ECU cannot determine exactly which sensor is faulty when one goes down. To determine a faulty sensor, you can use diagnostic equipment to check the live data readings. If the readings are erratic or showing out of tolerance, then the sensor could be faulty. The intake air temperature should be stable and only vary depending on ambient temperature. So if the reading is not realistic, then there could be a fault with the sensor. The coolant temperature sensor should also be stable, showing an increase or decrease based on the engine temperature. If you don't have diagnostic equipment, and the sensor can be checked manually with a multimeter. Check the signal voltages for the sensors, which should be stable and only vary depending on the ambient or engine temperature. This voltage reading should not be erratic. We would suggest checking the functionality of both sensors on the vehicle and replace as required. Been great to see you again. If you've got any questions, then drop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Remember, if you're experiencing issues with your ECU, we're here to help. Thanks for watching, look after yourself, and I'll see you in the next video.